Hi there, I'm Dr. Jawad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual healthcare plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues, I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15 minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face to face or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hello everyone, it's Dr. Juwan. I'm getting a lot of questions in regards to my video with 5-HTP converting to serotonin. And the, and the main concern is, and it's valid, can you get depleted in dopamine by taking in too much 5-HTP? The answer is yes. You can. It's like a teeter-totter. So if you take in a lot of 5-HTP, which will give you more serotonin, what's going to happen, you're going to deplete the mechanism of the conversion to dopamine. And I'll get into that. Now let's flip this over. Let's say you're taking in tyrosine or mucana, and I'll get into that, which helps supply you with more dopamine. Yes, you'll get serotonin depletion by if you take in too many ingredients that convert to dopamine. And I'm gonna show that in this video right now. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of emails off the video that I have on 5-HTP, and that is if I take too much 5-HTP, will that cause a depletion of dopamine? And the answer is yes. Now the other question is, what if I take 5-HTP and tyrosine together? What will happen then? Well, that's a good question. I'm going to start off, let's first start off with the functions of serotonin and dopamine. Because it's very, very important. There are two neurotransmitters in our system that one is for drive, the other one is for satisfaction. One is short-lived and the other one is, has a long memory. Dopamine, short-lived, this is why we do stupid stuff over time and time again because we forget about the consequences. It's our drive. Serotonin, that's more the calming, the calming, the long walks on the beach, I remember when, okay? One is not better than the other because everything has to be in balance. So when it comes to serotonin, the functions are serotonin, it controls the mood, appetite, sleep, memory, learning, and temperature regulation. That's in a, actually a different part of the brain. Dopamine is like more in the forebrain, and that's how it controls movement. It ties in with the cerebellum and the basal ganglia, which controls movement. Parkinson's, balance, motivation, our drive for reward. We love dopamine because this is our drive for reward. Every time we do something that's a risk taken, what happens? Our brain releases dope, and it's our drive. We love it. Can we get depleted? Yes, we can. So when it comes to mechanism, Okay, so when you're taking 5 HTP and now tyrosine, 5 HTP, your goal is to increase your serotonin levels. So I've done a previous video on the all the little constituents in between, but I put it in here just so it's still there. So you got the amino acid L tryptophan, which converts into 5 HTP, which converts into serotonin, which converts into melatonin and makes you go to sleep. Serotonin, remember, it makes you feel good. L-tyrosine, actually you take in the amino acid L-phenylalanine, which converts to L-tyrosine, which converts to L-dopa, which converts to dopamine, dopamine to norepinephrine, norepinephrine to epinephrine. Now these right here, these are your catecholamines, okay? These are the cats. That's your drive. Now here's the, the question is, can you take too much 5-ATP? or uh, tyrosine, or another supplement called mucana, which I'll get into that in a second. Yes, it throws off the balance, because here's the safety mechanism. The safety mechanism is the fact that when you have conversion of 5-HTP to serotonin, and L-dopa to dopamine, it shares the same amino acid, triple AD, called the aromatic amino acid decarboxylase. This is the teeter-totter action. If you take in too much 5-HTP with not enough tyrosine to balance it out, what's going to happen? It's going to shift. You're going to increase serotonin levels, decrease dopamine. What's dopamine do? 
That's your drive. That's your balance. That's your reward. That's your motivation. Well, let's flip it over. Let's take in uh, tyrosine, okay, or mucana, purines. What's going to happen? You're going to have low serotonin, high dopamine. That sounds great. It's not good. Remember, they have to be in balance. Now, the safety mechanism is what? The aromatic amino acid decarboxylase. In addition, because they both depend on the AAAD enzyme, in addition, the MAO, monoamine oxidase, monoamine oxidase, that's an enzyme that actually, when it happens in our brain, it clears up the junk. So the MAO is very, very important. It's an enzyme. So if you're making you know, serotonin or dopamine or whatever, the MAO helps clean it up so it rids the body of that. That's like your janitor system. We also have another safety mechanism built into our, to our bodies just so we don't have to, we overload it. Okay, let's just get a whole bunch of L-tryptophan to boost up serotonin. Let's just get a whole bunch of L-tyrosine to boost up dopamine. No, doesn't happen that way. Now for the chemistry people out there, you know this word, rate limiting step. The rate limiting step is just basically saying, okay, the body's gonna take in all this, but it's only gonna use this. I'm gonna give you $100, American money, I don't know what's conversion in other countries, but I'm only gonna allow you to have $10. So when you have L-tryptophan, you have the rate limiting step to the conversion to 5-HTP. For L-tyrosine, L-tyrosine has a safety mechanism as well because it maintains the normal levels without fluctuating if you take in too much L-tyrosine or dopamine. So we have a little bit of safety mechanisms in our body, which is not good, bad, right, or wrong. So you have the rate limiting step of, for serotonin. You also have it maintains normal levels without fluctuations. In addition, you have the triple AD enzyme here, which keeps everything in balance. Now, when it comes to supplementation, there's, a, there's supplements out there to help boost serotonin, 5-HTP. There's other supplements out there that help with dopamine, and that's L-tyrosine, and there's another supplement out there called Mucana Purians. Now, this is why I always recommend taking 5-HTP. We have like a cellophane wrap around our brain called the blood-brain barrier, and that protects our brain from outside invaders, certain chemicals, and only a few things pass through that. 5-HTP is more direct to serotonin because it does cross a blood-brain barrier. In addition, L-tyrosine and L-dopa, they do the same thing. So it crosses the blood-brain barrier, so it's a more direct action to dopamine and serotonin. So when it comes to supplementation, 5-HTP, I've done other videos about the dosage. You want to vary the dosage of 5-HTP anywhere from, it could be 100 to 300 milligrams either spread out because 5-HTP is also good for anxiety. I prefer to take it for sleep. Now, mucanopurians, I'm gonna do a, I did a video, the link is down below. This is good because what this does. Now note, tyrosine is an amino acid, but it also converts with iodine for thyroid hormone. So this is where you wanna catch yourself and not take tyrosine for dopamine because this goes to your thyroid. So with mucana purians, what this does, it helps the L-dopa levels without affecting tyrosine. So the L-dopa levels are increased for dopamine. It doesn't affect the, the tyrosine and it supports the catecholamines. And that's in a link on my video right, next, right down below. So I hope this answered the question. I know it's kind of confusing. I try to make it as simple as possible. Please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you for watching the video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. In addition, if you find that this information is valuable and if you want a free 15 minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It'll take you to my website. Again, we could talk either face to face on Zoom or on a phone call. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.